Cocker Spaniels are smart, charming, and sweet. They have been bred for generations to be friendly, to be good with other dogs, to be good with kids, and to be good with people. The result is that they are not your average dog. Cocker Spaniels are the perfect pet, a living embodiment of the ad slogan. They're not just pets, they're family. Cockers have been bred for centuries for their ability to hunt vermin, which involves an ability to sense danger in other animals, even when there's no danger at all. They also make good guard dogs because they are so alert and intelligent. It makes sense that that they would sometimes react with true heightened anxiety to real threats, which were rare when the breed was developed, but which now occur frequently in modern life. Hello everyone and welcome back to your favorite smart dog lover. In this video, we are going to be highlighting the things only Cocker Spaniel owners will understand about their pets. Don't forget to hit like if you haven't already. Also subscribe and turn on notifications for more contents like this that will help you know this breed better. Let's get it started, shall we? Number 12. The Unconditional Love We tend to think that being friendly is the same as loving unconditionally, but it isn't. Cocker Spaniel dogs are full of love for their owners, but don't seem to love anything else. If you give them a tennis ball, they are happy to let you play with it for hours on end. It's not their ball, it's yours. Your cocker needs to be able to read its signals so it can trust you to provide what it needs. It is not going to have any idea what that is until you've had some time together. So the very first thing your dog needs from you is a sign of your commitment to being a good pack member, unconditional love. If you aren't prepared to show that, the relationship won't work. Number 11. They want all the attention. Cocker Spaniels are not especially well behaved, especially if they don't get their way. They are known for their strong desire to be with their people at all times, often barking even when left alone. As it happens, Cocker Spaniel puppies were bred to be especially sociable and affectionate. Typically, they want to jump on people and lick their faces even before they've had any training. It's not their fault. As soon as they understand what sit means, they're eager to please. But no matter how much affection you lavish on it, a Cocker Spaniel will always be happiest when it can get attention from its owner. Number 10. Dirty Habits How does a Cocker Spaniel puppy become a Cocker Spaniel? What makes the difference between this puppy and any other puppy? It's not just that it has 11 pounds of brain and gets 10 hours of sleep every night. It's that it loves to play on dirt. This breed loves to play on dirt. It may be that they are hardwired to love doggy dirt, or it may be that they get rewarded for doing so. But whether they love to play on dirt or not, they do. And the way they get rewarded for playing on dirt is by trying out new things, learning about what works and what doesn't work, and avoiding what doesn't work. Number 9. Strong Oral Communication We have no reason to think that the dog has a language-like capacity to understand what is said to it. But when a visitor comes home, the dog is delighted to see him. For some reason, he thinks this person is a friend. The dog doesn't know why, but cockers are very good at understanding human behavior and have much experience with it. Cockers have the unusual ability to bob their head, close their eyes, and make a low-pitched sound. They use it to communicate with each other over long distances. Their bobbing is not unique. It is found in some other breeds too. Macaca Spaniels are unusual for more than that. They also use it for nonverbal communication. Number 8. They live long. A study was done of 1,500 Cocker Spaniel dogs whose owners had kept them for more than 5 years. The median lifespan was 11 years and a half. The dogs died after 15 years. In other words, they were living longer than expected, but they were also dying much sooner than expected. The Cocker Spaniel's life expectancy relies on two things, breeding and diet. 
If you want a long-lived dog, you have to take care of them properly. Each generation has a smaller chance of producing a Cocker Spaniel who dies young because of bad health or something else. Number 7. The Constant Medical Checkups And yet it is not always healthy. Some Cocker Spaniels are prone to skin infections and others get hip dysplasia or other problems that require treatment. The first step in dealing with a health problem is diagnosis at the earliest possible opportunity. But this can be difficult even if you have been seeing your veterinarian regularly. So spaniels need routine veterinary care every year or two to help check for tumors or other health problems and they don't need expensive tests or treatments. The simple, consistent checkups can be all that is needed. Number 6. They do not cope well with loneliness. Cocker Spaniels are extremely sociable, but as a breed, they do not cope well with loneliness. They are always happy to see you, but after a while, they start to get bored. Cocker Spaniels are a very friendly and loving breed, but they need attention of the older child. As soon as you leave, he will immediately look for someone to love. He likes to be around people and will easily win the hearts of all your guests. Your cocker will appreciate the company of their owners and like nothing more to spend time playing and walking with them. Number 5. Indoor Dogs The Cocker Spaniel has a reputation for being the lap dog of choice, preferring to be indoor with its owner. In the wild, it hunts foxes. In the home, it competes with a cat for scraps off of the kitchen floor. As the Cocker Spaniel is relatively relatively small dog, it is likely to spend most of its time indoors. It is not a particularly energetic breed, so it will probably spend most of its time sitting around with its owner. And because it has such a long tail and such big ears, even when it hasn't been sitting around with its owner, it will have been doing something that makes it look like it's sitting around. Number 4. The Mood Swings the Cocker Spaniel dogs have unusual mood swings. One minute they're happy and friendly, the next they're snapping at you, and the next they're wagging their tails and begging for food. This breed has a reputation for being hard to train and for getting bored easily. These may be the results of bad training or a certain way of looking at training, but it is also possible that there is something biologically different about these dogs. According to another recent research, the reason is that these dogs are made up of lots of little subbreeds, each with its own distinctive look and temperament. Number 3. They are instinctive too. Cocker Spaniels are inquisitive dogs. If a toy is knocked over on the floor, one of their first moves is to look for it. If it isn't there, they might look behind the couch or in the trash or under the chair or something. You can train them to catch toys, but they're going to keep looking until they find the toy. If you want a dog that will stay put in a crate while you're out, get a different kind of dog. Number 2. They shed a lot. Cocker Spaniels have a double coat, or more precisely, they have a double undercoat that sheds somewhat year-round, and a fairly dense outer coat that sheds more heavily during certain times of year. The amount of shedding varies with the season, though. Number 1. Grooming is Luxury a few dog breeds are more expensive to groom than others, and people pay a lot more for them. But compared with other kinds of pets, there are relatively more spaniels. It is more time consuming to groom them. The reason is that they have very thick fur, which makes it hard to keep them clean. They also have very deep skulls, which makes it hard to reach their ears. Compared with other dogs, they don't smell well either. The owner's responsibility is not to keep the dog clean, but to keep it from getting dirty. A Cocker Spaniel is a breed that will not do well without a great deal of attention, and that attention can be expensive. That's all folks, tell us your best experience with your Cocker Spaniel in the comments section and let us know if it is recommendable to have one. Before we go, do make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any dog related content from us. Goodbye for now, guys.